Hey everybody, welcome back to Micro Beer Reviews. Today we've got a brand new beer from Noda Brewing Company just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina called Hopsidaisical. Um, this is really cool. I, I typically forget or just don't save the, the boxes. This is an eight pack. So um, it's, it's uh, a pint can and there's eight of them instead of six. I don't think the price is on here. I think it was like $24, $23. Hold on a second. It's right here. It was $19, actually. Um, and they have this slogan on here about why it's eight. I just read it. Uh, it said something about when six isn't enough or something like that. Um, this is super cool. So um, it's got the, the old school lawn chair or pool chair, whatever you want to call that on it. Um, it's 5.1% ABVs, 50 IBUs. It's a West Coast style IPA. Um, it's got mosaic and Simcoe hops. Pretty standard. It says not too much, not too little. It says sit back, sit, relax, and watch your worries disappear. Great can, great colors. Um, there were very few of these to purchase. I think I bought the second of the last one um, in the, the bottle store that I go to. So um, looks like a West Coast IPA, a little bit of orange tint to it. Um, perfectly white, frothy head, big bubbles, little bubbles. Smells more like Simcoe than Mosaic to me. Smells well, okay. I don't, there's definitely some pininess. Um, I can't really pull out any fruitiness at all. Smells good. And you can tell there's more than one hop, hop in there, so cheers, let's get in the glass. That is what I would call very easy drinking. Uh, there's no, it's just, um, it's a hop IPA. There's not, um, there's a little bit of floralness in there but from the mosaic, but it's more of a, uh, just a straight up hop drink. I'll say it like that, a straight up hop beer. Um, they're supposed to brew this year round now. Um, this is the type of beer I could see getting on draft at a restaurant, an outside restaurant, seafood type um, uh, food, you know, it's it's easy 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 to drink it's pretty standard it's um it's hard it's kind of hard for me to, to describe it's um uh, it's like all day ipa from founders it's just you know what you're gonna get it's it's not gonna knock your socks off in terms of alcohol content i've used uh too many different flavors at once the aroma is it's not great like it's not overpowering but it's not bad either it's just a, a, what I would call a standard flagship IPA. Um, Noda has some really good beers now. They've done a lot of cool stuff. I've reviewed a bunch of their, their beers over the years. I remember when they were brand new, and at least in the state of North Carolina, if you owned a bottle shop, you had to go get the, you had to, you had to pay a courier basically to go get it because they were so young that they weren't distributing that way. Now, you go to the Charlotte airport, and it's all over the place. So um, anyway, it's a new one of theirs. It's good. It's um, I like it a lot um, in terms of just a, a, what I would call a standard drinkable, easy drinking IPA. I could absolutely drink this on the lake or the beach or something like that. It's 5.1%, so it's it's not a banger in that respect at all either. So anyway, long too long of a video. Let me know if you've tried it. Leave comments down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe. We upload all the time. We appreciate you watching, and as always, We'll see you again real soon. Cheers.